For the past couple of weeks, I've been playing with laser savers, uh, looper circuit, and also his uh, ringer circuit. And it's the ringer circuit that uh, I want to show you here. I'm pretty excited about. Uh, what I'm showing you first is, is a control LED. That LED is running off of this uh, two AA batteries. And uh, it's pulling about 3.2 volts and about 25 milliamps. Now, I'm going to plug in. This is uh, one of those lithium ion uh, portable power packs that you can get for your telephone. And uh, I've been using that. It's a 5 volt, 2000 milliamp hour power supply. And uh, if you can see on my gauges, I'm, I'm pulling right now 30 milliamps and just under 5 volts. And this is 50 LEDs all connected in series. Now with this circuit, if I drop this back to 10 LEDs, uh, those 10 LEDs are going to pull about 23.6 volts from this transformer. So that's about 2.36 volts per LED. With all 50 lighted, uh, it's pulling 83.6 volts. So that's about 1.67 volts per LED. Now at 30 milliamps, these LEDs are not quite as bright as this control LED. But if I run, I've got a little 1K uh, potentiometer here. And if I run that current up to about 50 milliamps, right about there, then it appears to be about the same brightness as my control LED. Now with the way I've got this circuit set up right now, if I remove uh, all the resistance I can off of this, uh, it's going to go up to just about mi uh, 80 milliamps. Uh, if I were to take this potentiometer completely out, uh, it, it would run 80 milliamps. So 80 milliamps with a 5 volt supply on uh, 50 LEDs is 0.4 watts. If I were to run 50 of these, of these control LEDs, off of straight DC current, no circuit, I would use 4 watts. So that's, uh, I'm overdriving these. These are actually brighter than this control LED right now. Uh, so I thought that was very interesting that uh, that, that, would, that would do that. Now, the other thing I thought was kind of, kind of interesting as well. Uh, I'm going to run this back to 50 milliamps. When I connect up 10, of course the, the voltage and the current draw is the same, but the light level does not change on the 10 uh, from the 50. I'm getting the same light output, uh, or at least to my eye, the same light output on the 50 LEDs that I'm getting on the 10. Now, I'm sure it's a little bit less because there is a voltage drop over all those LEDs, but it's interesting that this, uh, this little uh, inverter transformer here will adjust to the number of LEDs in the load. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Um, this is the basic jewel ringer circuit. Now I do have, I have used Schottky uh, BAT42 blocking diodes in this circuit, uh, but the uh, 1N4148s work just as well. Uh, maybe not quite as well, but uh, pretty close. The other thing that I did here, of course I've got the, uh, the diodes on either end here feeding those LEDs. Uh, and that's something that's not in the, uh, the basic ringer circuit. Also I put an inductor 
from my positive rail uh, to the inverter transformer and uh, that made quite a quite an improvement difference as well uh, in fact if, if I bypass that right here uh, you can see quite a difference here so by putting that inductor in of course my current draw did drop down to about uh, 23 24 milliamps but by using that inductor uh, I'm back up to the 50 milliamps and, and I've got some really good light uh, coming from that so uh, let me dim the lights in here Apologies for my camera because my camera is trying to adjust to the light level. Um, but you can see it's just washing out, washing out the camera. Uh, so I thought that was very interesting. Uh, this this diode right here, uh, I haven't made my decision yet whether or not that's really helping. That's that's dropping the current in the circuit but it also drops the light levels. If I remove that out and adjust it uh, at the 30 milliamp, 50 milliamp, 80 milliamp level, so I'm getting about the same light as I do with, with the diode as I would without. Uh, I do like it in there right now because it will top out at 80. It won't let me use more than 80 milliamps. And that's just a 1K pot right there. And I've also added a little smoothing capacitor between the uh, positive and the, and the negative rail. So this is uh, my circuit diagram that I've come up with. And I hope you can read that uh, inductor, smoothing capacitor, the inverter transformer, three diodes is all I'm using in here, 50 bright white LEDs, and a 2N 2222 transistor. So I just thought this was really neat and uh, wanted to share and I hope you enjoy and uh, have fun. Thank you very much for watching.